Hello everyone, and finally we are back here at the NR2003 Championship Series, Series 5. Um, just almost forgot to, to say that uh, that f from this season onwards, this this series will be will have undergone a a a, a, a total rebrand. Uh, instead of this series being called the NR2003 KFC Fantasy Series. It is now being decided that this will now be called the NR2003 PMU Cup Series. So that's the new name from this series from now on. So right now we, we are finally getting trying to get Season 5 rolling with this uh, pre-season test. And uh, yeah, um, so far, um, well, we're expecting to see a few new faces coming uh to, to this series or at least joining us um uh, but not all of us will be taking part in this test for now so if we go down the entry list we've seen a vast majority of drivers leaving and vast majority of other drivers expecting to join as i mentioned just now so there we go so let's go down the order in fact let's go through the drivers that have left this have, have left the series uh now since since last season John Appleseed is gone. He left. He left the series and the server. And uh, Jager Hammond, he's also gone. But who knows? Nobody likes him anyway. So, um, who else? Tristan Mendoza, he's out as well. And uh, La Forcha Henry, he's also ha he he's he's also out. She's also out, my bad. What am I thinking? My mind's going off today again. And finally, and most famously, uh, Jerry Chen, who won't be taking part in this session at least, but he will still be here though um, for one final race um, at the when at the Daytona 250, which we don't know if it will uh, be taking part as the season opener or probably the second race. I don't know. Because I might have to open up the, the the entry list a bit later. And I don't want to do it too late. So, But anyway, I'll get into these arrangements pretty soon, hopefully. So let's go through the remaining uh, drivers that are, are still with us. At least in D1. So, the likes of Albert Estras, Alrighty Alejo, Alejo, whoever I can pronounce badly uh thomas giuliano lola churnside camera junior terry lawal kendrick meeks the season one champion and uh solomon sheridan cat rose dex miyazaki riley hill ray and army arthur shavia john palmer roberta crown jr james jameson oh yeah, by the way james jameson has has returned to the series after one year absence uh, Borat. Wait, hold on. I thought, I thought he was going to be driving the 55. Oh, wait, I didn't send it in. He's not sent in yet, so I just do the car that I've got right now, so. Yeah. I did set, I did. I'll sort everything up. Yeah, yeah in, in I've already world. did announce the, the, en the entry, the entries for, for Daytona already. I did announce it on the, on the channel, so, so everybody should know, but nobody has sent their their cars in yet so after that so yeah i'll get i'll get all mine set up for tomorrow then no problem right so ruben gonzalez is back owen scott season three champion he's back uh daniel bouchard as well austin leong sophia petty another oh don't not to forget a new driver in fact it's more of that she's replacing somebody as i as i mentioned for those who haven't uh seen the nyc uh, challenge race the non-championship race uh, a few days ago uh, sophia petty uh will set to make her a d1 debut uh, replacing the late richard petty jr who of course as i mentioned has died in a crash david dixon mm -hmm. he's the sole driver that will be joining us from d2 and the only confirmed d2 driver to be promoted to d1 at the moment we are expecting four other drivers to join us in d2 but obviously we need to get d2 through and this can only be determined in terms of performance and results of which of the other four drivers will be joining david dixon and the others for d1 from season five so drew walker season two champion he's here uh, dylan hayden quinn Mullaney, avery hamilton leland hill Noel hamilton 
Vander Howell, Cam Wright, Joe Maddox, and Blake Parker. So there you go. For 33, 33 drivers will take part in this uh, only test for today at Talladega. So this is going to be interesting. And let's see um, who, who, well, it's only practice, but uh, who will uh, be faster than one another in this session. Right, let's get this done and over with. Let's see who will be the first to leave the pits. Oh, Ryan and Army is the first driver to leave and get on track. I think. Yep, Ryan and Army is the first to get on track. It's very quiet. And Lena Hill is is out. And uh, Blake Parker. And there is uh, David Dixon, the D1 DBD. So this is going to be very interesting. So maybe we can go through some early predictions of how what do we expect from any of the drivers here in 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 D1 this season. So obviously Jerry Chen is not going to defend his championship after his uh, retirement from the series, apart from obviously his one last race at Daytona 250, and um, so um, speaking of the runner-up. Uh, Cat Rose, who is remaining in the series at the moment, as we have no confirmation or any, uh, or we have not heard anything from Cat Rose of any intention to retire at this moment. I think it's possible that she can stay here as long as she wants. So that is uh, something for her to do at the moment. This could be an opportunity to at least get at least the championship in the bag uh, before she does decide to leave. So, whatever. Anything can happen. And um, Owen Scott, um, I do hope we expect more things from him this season. He was almost... He was so close to defending his championship um, in the last race at Odo Club. Where is, uh, where is Owen Scott? I can't bug him. I can't find him, my language. Oh, uh, there it is. No, Drew Walker. Oh, he's driving the 36. I'm getting confused because I know he's not driving the 12 anymore. There it is, Owen Scott. Um, Before I go through the team changes, because I almost forgot to mention. Owen Scott, um, obviously, as I mentioned, was so close to defending his championship last season. Unfortunately, ended up in smoke with an engine failure. And then there was, since then, there was serious um, uncertain, uncertainty of who, out of the other two drivers, that was between Jerry Chen and Cat Rotha, who would win the championship. And Jerry Chen had a very close shot at winning it, only by a small margin. Only because Cat Rose failed to make up, like, literally, she tried to make up for places, but was not good enough and was so close to actually getting, getting that uh, championship away from Jerry Chen whom Jerry Chen had actually struggled to... He actually had a bad race that Question. race. Question. When will the Cadillacs be removed as, an, as a manufacturer? Well, I mean, there's only one Cadillac on the field, obviously. That is Cat Rose. All the other Cadillacs have been replaced, obviously. Like, Owen Scott oh, has moved to CT. Sorry? Owen Blake Parker. Well, oh, I don't know. I mean, I just... I'll just leave him for now, unless the others wants to change team. I think I know Blake Parker is on a, another team. I think CT have signed Blake Parker, so I think it's up to them if they want to replace his car. And obviously, Cat Rose can continue as well as an independent Cadillac. So obviously, it won't be as much because now with no with no JCM uh, on the field, that means that literally there's uh, presumably yeah no Cadillac support. Well, I mean, 
like I say, it's up to the team if they want to change it. But at the moment, I don't see any way of, of replacing the card at the moment. If I had to replace the card, then I'm going to have to just simply find a way yeah. to replace them. It's fine. Anyway. Anyway, let's go through the timing um, sheet. Oh, and by the way, there is no ticker, but don't worry, because who knows? Um, it's not that important. Quinn Mullen, Quinn Mullen he currently fastest a uh, a little motorsports car. Quinn Mullen, um, fastest seems by a long shot. Tarian Ray struggling the uh, at the. Uh, TLR I think that's because they've done their first lap, so his first lap they do tend to be slower. No, remember, Ray was the first car out. Oh, Cat Rose, what are we... No, Rain and Army was one of the first cars out, so obviously that could... And, and Blake Parker, I know Blake Parker was one of them, I think. Well, you, you've came a bit faster, so I don't know. Maybe you went a bit faster, I think. Ray, I don't know what, 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 what Ray, else you can see. Ray currently running uh, one minute laps. So they're, they're starting to get faster as we go along with time. So Albert Strass is uh, now fastest at the moment. As you can see, their tyres starting to become more competitive. and starting to make the tyres more one, faster. Only one Toyota in the top 10 on the speed charts right now. Top 10 on the speed charts? Only one Toyota in the top 10. Ah. My Absolutely bad. Closed. That's right. That is Quinn Mullany. So that moment, that moment when uh, uh, that moment when Austin Leon is faster than pretty much all your cars. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no. Never mind. Tell why there's two. There's. Way more Toyotas now. We've got Shop, Avery yeah. Hamilton and, and Arthur Xavier now. Oh, James Jemison coming back strong on his return, but how long will he hold it? Ooh, 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 that might be good for my team this season. Well, obviously, with, without JCM, which means we see some more competition, hopefully between CTM and and and, and uh, Leader Motorsports. Which uh, these two cars we like decent. Pretty much going to be making up for the gap left by JCM. <laughs> but don't rule out yeah. SLR just yet, because Tyler Well has been missing on a victory since his only victory back at Japan season one, and there, in, there in, are there are room there are rumors that that team might swap to Toyota. That is a very interesting story to tell, and to say the least. Oh, it just froze. Okay, and, it's back and on. We, and, we have, and we have had word that whenever, then that if the Manx 19 switch happens, then they will go to Fords. That would depend, because the only thing I need to think about is how I'm gonna get. How am I gonna? I mean, when I'm gonna plan to make the race look better with potential. You know, better graphics and so on as I plan to look at when am I going to bring my PC monitor in because if I do that, that would be hugely beneficial for the series which will look much better with better graphics you know, better ways of you know, watching a race and so on so anything, you know I, I would expect anything better from this point on watch. Never mind, never. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. That is a surprise up at the top of the chart. Xander Howell. What? Xander Howell? Where is he? I don't see well, him. So, oh, Xander, well. Xander. Xander Howell. Well, Xander Howell has. I'm sorry, Lord. They've been doing well. Xander Howell has been. Has done, a, has done quite a promising series. Uh, had done quite a had, had sorry he, he he's done like quite a promising season four uh, last season in his rookie season of course Inter interesting interesting for Leela Motorsports though David Dixon Lorches and Riley Hill twentieth twenty first and twenty second and Leela Hill not even in the top twenty in speed right now you can see Churnside as well they're actually together my and not Iron Army just passed. 
Leland Hill, 31st. Well, I mean, we're used to, comment from the 54, we're used to being slow like this. That's pretty much what we're known for at this point. Cat Rose has, has reported that there might be issues with this so Cadillac. Seems as though that the Cadillac is not as competitive as it was back then without any support, without any full support, without JTM, which means that Cadillac are going to expect seasons ahead of them to be more tougher than them if they are going to, if they are going to remain. So that is a huge After big question. After they've won like the past four championships in a row. Four championships in a row is still possible, if, but if unlikely. In fact, it is pretty much, I'd say, 99.9% .9 impossible for Jason wait, to win no, a championship wait, 10 hold, points. Let, hold on, let's calculate this. Season 1 was a Kendrick Meek winning in a Toyota, and then every other season has been a Cadillac winning the championship. Yes, that's that's right. Well, season two and three and four, of course. But we've they... uh, we've we've drew. I believe it was Drew Walker, Owen Scott, and Jerry Chen, yes. respectively. Yes. However, though, it may still be possible to win the championship in points, but that is like ninety nine percent, ninety nine point nine percent impossible, though. To well, no, pass a feat. We've only one Cadillac. Looks, from what it looks like this season, we're going to have a lot more Chevys than you than we usually would expect. It's probably going to be Chevy's year, I suppose, because there's more Chevys than any other car in the field, alongside the Toyotas. I mean, I'm, I mean, I've got, I have like eight, eight Toyotas. Uh, you, uh, I believe the twenty six is one. The 26, he's not won any races. No, I don't mean one. I mean, I'm counting how many Toyotas yes. there are. So I've oh, got eight. my bad. I've got eight Toyotas with my two teams. Can't remember anything else other than 26. Obviously, Shabby, that, obviously, Sha obviously, Shabby is driving independently. Who's up on the floor? Oh, Drew Walker up into the second. But Austin Leon, look at that. When's he going to ever stop Good racing? Work. As more people question. Well, technically, Shara will still have support because he'll still be running the 19, which is going to still have the Disney Plus sponsorship and everything. That is something. So at least for this, for this final season for him, uh... It, He's going to have support from my team still. Potentially, I guess. Since he's left the server, this will be his last season. Let's take a look closely at this newcomer, David Dixon, who we think we would expect more, a lot of him this season, uh, as he's currently... Uh, in detail at the moment in his last few races and still in contention of the championship for D2. He, uh, he has, um, he has done a few of the uh, races at the, towards the end of last season as well. He did as, he did a few as well. This would, would expect to be his first full season. As I almost forgot, he did a few races because this, this series has been on haters for almost over, a, for like just over a month. But now we're back with some new faces. We, we only see one face today, as I keep mentioning. We'll, we'll be expecting more uh, from. Uh, getting on board. Should we get on board with the 54 later? while they're in the group here? Hold on, let me check the time. Oh, we got five minutes. We've got a bit of time now, so. If we look closer under that with one of the two remaining Cadillacs, that is Blake Parker. And obviously Blake Parker, I think, is in ZTM, I think. Or managed to transfer to ZTM after JCM of obvious uh, obvious exit from the sport. And just look at this typical Talladega driving. 
bat. Let's look at practice. Let's see. Um, you can see, you'll be able to see the timesheets on, on, well, a limited number of drivers, 10 drivers per timesheet on the right side of the screen. You can see no, the 55 is still leading. Losing the 19 might be a bad thing, so I might end up just getting someone else to replace that car. This is uh, this is a big question, like, what's going to happen to the 19? Oh, I see your game. I see that your game is having the same glitch that mine was with the reflections on. The reflections? Yeah, well, you were, when the sun shined on the back of the 92, it was flickering a bit. Mine was doing that. I just turned them off and it looks way better. Oh, maybe because it's from your side, I assume. Oh, Probably. Nolo Hamilton. I, was, I, I thought it was quite mine, but Nolo Hamilton is now the fastest. And in a Lena Motorsport secondary team. So already the 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 secondary team of, of Lena Motorsports is already wooing the main team right now. Technically, is Noah Hamilton even? St I don't even think Noah Hamilton's even in the server anymore. Noah Hamilton, he's still there. Oh no, he might be. He might not I'll have be. to have a check. I'll have to have a check on that. But we already know that James Jameson will be in that 51. I mean 55. That can, that can be rearranged uh, from today, from, from after this race. Avery Hamilton is definitely still here. Oh, okay. I can consider keeping him then. Actually, actually, hang on. I've got a really good idea. Yes. I can put Jameson in the 19 and then uh, keep the 55 as it is and then Arthur can just Run, a, run independent. Oh, it's Jameson then. So then that put, gives Jameson a, a place to go. Plus it give, plus it's putting him in, in equipment that we know his championship content has won a championship before. But will the 19 be? In the main team or in the secondary team, I would politely assume being in the main team. I think just uh, it would make more sense for Jameson being a veteran, and I, I think David Dixon would be better off in the secondary team for the moment. Maybe, but then that means I'd have to close the current. I could just close the 25 and just replace that with the 45. Potentially. Ooh, but, or, the sign I could, is or I could go that and replace it with the 19. It's up to you. I'm just suggesting I'm not here to control your team, I so... I know. I know. I know. I'm, I'll decide what to do tomorrow. Right. So, um... We could, so, we, let's take a look at teams. Now that we almost forgot to mention other teams, obviously, um, TTM Motorsports are have returned with a much more bigger and expanded team. Um, GCM, I mean, CTM were able to inherit drivers from GCM, um, Cam, Cam Wright, I mean, Owen Scott and uh, Drew Walker from GCM. As now they've got seats in the main team and uh, Cam Wright have, I think, has left uh, the team as a driver and decided to move into SLR, other driver, now he's driving on a Dodge, which I could probably sh be able to show you before uh, this comes to a close. Oh gosh, the 88 is here, so let's have a look. There is a uh, Cam Wright in that Dodge. He's racing another team. He, he has taken a similar approach to, I think, to Kendrick Meeks. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, and when when. I mean, Kendrick Meeks left HMR, remained as a HMR for a few races before being changed to Leon Motorsports. So I, I guess that's where it'll head off for. And there you go. So. And now my team is back to what it was, what the original plan was for season one before the merge. So. 
So plus, it fits in, plus, it fits in better with the identity of my team through in other series. So It would be difficult without the Star Driver. Well, I mean, Rally Hill is okay. Like, he was in terms of contention. But then we again... Have, we have a, I mean, we have Jameson. That could end up being the new Star Driver. That's potential. And a bit of in the unknown of how he would proceed. Um... Obviously, after one season absence, that will be a big question mark of how we'll proceed. So, anyway, the session is now ended. So, let's let the older cars uh, finish the lap times and then we shall bring the session to a complete close. And I really need to start to arrange a discussion chat. Like probably tomorrow, likely tomorrow, and um, just discuss some new rules and stuff like that because I still have not got any rules set. Well, I, I, I need to make it clear and to make sure I put it all into place so we can get the ballroom because there are a number of rules that are set to be announced, but I'm just trying to make sure I clarify and see whether this would be, you know, a thing. So, but anyway, that can be discussed more hopefully tomorrow. I will need to start keeping on telling everyone about uh, a plan to discuss this on VC. But anyway, I think everyone's done the lap times now, so that will leave Northampton as fast as of the day of the session. Daniel Bouchard, a very promising second place in the KFC car. Uh, Quinn Mullany in third place, Tara Lowell fourth place, Borat fifth place, Austin Leon sixth place, Camry up to seventh. He Drivers was, to your cars. he was very slow um during the last few minutes of this session until um maybe about one two minutes before the session finishes. He's up into seventh now. Sophia Petty has come back uh, very promising as well. C could this be the? Could this be the real deal? For the replacement for Richard Petty Jr., Dylan Hayden ninth place, and also Xavier tenth. Those are your top ten drivers of the session. As we go down the order, see. Um, now that's a few surprises, I guess, for at least some of the veteran drivers. Um, they've not done reasonably well, but not perfect, I guess. So, but I guess that's them really. So, it's only a session, but who knows. But there you can see this can reflect on how we can predict on who will come, who, who, who of, of who will uh, finish where as we bring in the first race of the season. Probably um, Talladega or Daytona to, or Daytona. I will need to confirm which ones will be because we're running a bit late and I need to get this done over with pretty soon. So, um, in fact, I could probably go for the discord right now just have a look and see if anything needs to be done right I just received a interval for I mean, I receive a message. What's what am I thinking? I'm thinking really bad. And let's see. Um, oh, David Dixon just joining as well. So, right, let me get this through. Redirected, right. Right, I'm gonna send a message. I think I'm gonna arrange the discussion tomorrow at uh, probably. Uh, I've got work tomorrow, so um, I'm gonna say around the same time 12, uh, 12 a.m. GMT and 7 p.m. EST. So let's see. Uh, uh, 
in discussion in VC in regards to the sir rules for season five and other things tomorrow at 7 p.m. Uh, EST and 12 a.m. GMT Well, put that another message, please let me know if you'd like to be added, like to be given access. I mean, I can go, I can do it on a general VC, it's probably better. Yeah, if anyone can come in, so it'll be an open mm -hmm. VC, so. Right. I could do a second testing session here at Talladega. I mean, because I guess it wouldn't have a bit of time. Certainly, I would not mind at all. Can do it, bro. Sorry. Oh. I said can do, I suppose. Oh, but, okay, my bad. I'm hard of hearing already, so. <laughs> Alright, so All right. we'll probably. All right, then we can hit another search because I think we've got time. Um, I mean, for those who aren't in uh, D2, I uh, 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 haven't made D1 yet. Well, I guess I'll just have to see you all uh, until the first race. I think that'll be the best thing, at least uh, just to get this done over with. So anyway, so I'm going to restart the stream I'm, I'm going to switch up the stream and I'm, I'm, I'm going to start a new one after this one so that i can uh, be able to upload this on youtube easily so anyway so let's get this wreck up the first stream though and hopefully get the second stream shortly i'll say let's take a 15 20 minute break and then we'll be back for another session don't know where because obviously it's last minute i'll decide where i'm going to arrange another one so so yeah there we go. Nolan Hamilton is your fastest driver of the day. We go down the order once more, just in case anyone doesn't know or forget. Okay, there you go. So, thank you everyone once again, and I hope I'll see you guys in the next 15 20 minutes, potentially for uh, another session. Uh, so, take care, everyone, and see you there. Hello everyone and welcome over to the second testing session here at uh, the brand new Daytona Race Road Course. That's right, um, we've decided Daytona Road Course as the new track that we are set to confirm as part of season or part of the season five schedule. I have not officially released the schedule as of yet, although I have released the provisional schedule. But obviously is still subject to change so um but yeah daytona um still got some work to be done um but hopefully um i can get this done before this particular race uh, comes so anyway so we're back same amount of drivers and who knows let's get it done let's get it done over with so um so who will come out first on track oh who's this? It's still someone coming out there's borat he's coming out there's alejo coming out no is it yeah alejo coming out yeah uh, only two drivers coming out yet so let's take a look at this awesome track that is the daytona road course and just oh boy that is a road course in fact 
it has never been tried. Well, we've never actually raced there before, obviously, but who knows? We do want to try and make this much better. A road course that isn't prone to any faults or anything like that. So anyway, so this is Borat and he is out on track. There's a ledger right behind him and David Dixon over there. Over there. There's Bouchard, the runner for last uh, um, the session. That is pretty much it. Okay, this is a better view out there. We take a look at that M&M's car. That um, there were there are rumors that uh, that uh, James Jamison could take over the that that particular team from Borat probably before the season even starts. That's what I've been hearing right now. And there you can see more cars joining in. Okay, my phone's just messing up with me, so I wasn't able to see the Discord properly, but now I got it to work once again. Alright then, so let's make our way back to, this, to the timesheets. Already, Alleger's making, has already made his lap. Don't know what's going on with Borat right now.
some interesting shakeups going on as we're coming up to 10, 10 minutes of the session before it ends. This is getting pretty interesting. And so far, we have an interesting uh, leader of the session that is right in an army with 1 minute 20.42.204. And coming right behind, we have the sophomore of Arthur Xavier. I mean, yeah, the swan songer of Arthur, Sh Arthur Xavier behind her in, in, in second place. Owen Scott, um, season three champion, up into third place. Take a look at Avery Hamilton. This is pretty promising for him. Let's see if he can get his hopes uh, up, I guess. David Dixon is sticking in, in the top 10 so far uh, in this session. There is a Blake Parker. Blake Parker, expect more for him this season with uh, some um, equipment that he deserves. 
to have, I assume, CT equipment from his transfer from from JCM. And John Palmer, he finished. He 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 finished uh, with the slowest time of the session. Oh, and Giuliano appears in in the top ten, fifth uh, spot for him. As we go down, uh, Arati Alejo ninth and Riley Hill tenth. So there you go. So we're now five minutes to go, and just look at that. Look at how the grid is shaping up right now. Absolutely not stress-free right now. It's all looking really good.
Ooh, Arthur Shavia takes over Ryan and Nami. At almost the last minute. Breaking the one minute way to barrier. Well, this guy is set to take his fastest lap, t fastest uh, time of the day. 1 minute 41.9. And oh boy, that was quick for him at that very last minute. Oh, and leading the hill up into third place. So that is um, leading the motorsports 1, 3, 5, 8. That's pretty much it. Oh boy, what a session. Oh, Melanie appears, and that's another Lemo Sports car in the top 10. But that's pretty much it. So, so Shavia once again takes home the fastest lap time of the day. Uh, and I'll be thinking Mullany third, Lena Hill fourth, Owen Scott fifth, Avery Hamilton sixth, Giuliano seventh, then how a David Dixon ninth, and Blake Parker tenth. Those are your top teners. Oh boy, what a god! What a great race! I mean, a god race. Well, that's been a great race, so, um, so, this is good. Okay, go in any order. And Cat Rose finishes last. Or will we'll finish with the slowest lap time. So there it is. Yep, that's pretty much it. So I guess we should rock it up as fast as we can and hopefully we can get the plans done over the weekend. So I guess so uh, yeah, I'm so tired I gotta go to sleep because I gotta go work. So thank you everyone for taking part in this stream and a whole session. Ah oh boy. I gotta get this saved before I go to bed. So thank you everyone once again. I hope to see you see you once again at the first race of the season. Season five that is. Finally we're getting this uh, getting this running uh first time in over a month, so goodness gracious me anyway. Right, without further ado, as I can't keep repeating myself. Take care everyone and I shall see you there.